Hey guys, welcome back. Reese and Ben here with Pursuing the Natalie Arts. And today we have a special guest with us, Bruce Rawwich from the Medieval Swordsman Guild of Kansas City. He is the primary instructor for the school and uh, they both, uh, he also studies the uh, German tradition, same with us. So uh, Bruce, what are we doing today? So today we're gonna work on the Zucken or the Twitch. So this is very similar to the Blauschfesten um, Zucken technique, but we're gonna see how that applies to stabbing people in harness. Yep, and we'll be doing a, a low one and there's a high one. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous video covering the weak points in armor, probably uh, be a good point to watch that uh, prior to this video. So uh, we'll be doing uh, some zooking now, so stick around. All right, so the guys are uh, out here again with Mr. Stick here. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, a play on zooking. So zooking, which means the twitch, uh, and, and which in case you get into a, a, a frontal bind uh, with the, the point, uh, you're using your opponent's pressure against him, right? So if uh, he is going to be pushing against you, you push back and letting his momentum pass, you will come underneath or above and go for his armpit or other open target. So we'll show you a little bit with this now with Mr. Stick. So. So when performing the Zuckin, I first apply pressure towards Ben. Ben responds with pressure back to me. I come up underneath, and as soon as he does it, I twitch away and stab. Repeating that again, I pressure, Ben responds, I come up under and stab. Ben will do the same thing. I push back, and he stabs. So twitching away. Here, I wanted to mention real quick how the Zuken, or Twitch, has a great benefit of opening up your opponent. Uh, you notice that Ben has very large pauldrons, which do a very good job of protecting his armpit from thrusts. But employing the Zuken properly, you can see that it opens Ben up for a thrust from below. Here is an exercise for those who wish to try this at home. The opponent, or the leader in this exercise, will push against your wrist with his wrist. The opponent will then respond by pushing back. When you feel the height of pressure, you will respond with a twitch, or zukin, by falling either above or below, going for an opening. So now we're going to do the same thing as before, but now we're going to be using poleaxe. Uh, these fundamentals transfer through all the weapon systems. Same thing uh, with spear, uh, dagger, all that. So now the guys are going to demonstrate uh, the Zukin with a poleaxe using the Q end. You push. That's hot. <laughs> it is damn hot. That's hot. <laughs> well, guys, we appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, made a lot of fun making it. Again, it is super hot. It's about super 90 hot. degrees or so and like 90% humidity. So we're back at it again, being dedicated or stupid. Take your pick. Or both. Oh. Or both, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, guys, what were, your, uh, what were your conclusions? What were your thoughts? 
So, Zuken. Zuken, really useful technique, both with sword and with uh, with axe. Um, all dependent on the fulin, the feeling on that. So learn to react with a simple twitch. We tend to want to take big motions a lot of the time. Using the sword or the axe, a simple twitch will often, in response to pressure, do the trick for us. Yeah, when we see this uh, later on in, in Gladiatoria, we'll be covering this more in depth, but there's techniques where you simply, you're in a bind, you respond to the guy's pressure, and then you're, you're completely turning him around. 360 degrees and then you're, you're tossing them. So uh, definitely something we want to uh, explore in the future, you know, uh, when we feel more confident with it. Yeah. <laughs> throwing, stuff, throwing each other around, so. But uh, what was your conclusions, man? Uh, I mean, the trick with Twitch is obviously to, uh, you know, get your fooling down so you can feel that moment of pressure and anticipate that they're pushing hard enough that when you do Twitch away, they're gonna move far enough to clear your point, you're gonna regain center and then gain your target before they can return to you. Um, obviously doing uh, some of the other techniques, it's a matter of timing to, to make the technique work appropriately as well. Yeah, it's uh, you, you got to uh, be careful because if you don't respond right at the height of pressure, you're you're now you know light in the bind, and then you th once you start thrusting forward, they can thrust forward on you as well. So it's it's a uh, feeling or feeling is a huge part of this to make this work. So, um, but uh, hope hopefully you guys uh, got to see how um, that works um, so uh, we'll be exploring this more in depth later on like I said with uh, more of gladiatory with the ringing or wrestling techniques uh, but do we want to thank uh, Brent, uh, Bruce for coming out here today yep my pleasure uh, always great seeing seeing Bruce and uh, uh, we'll probably be seeing him uh, more as of late he's a he's a huge fan of poleaxe so uh, my favorite yeah it's his favorite weapon so We'll be definitely playing with some Polacks with him in the future. So, um, if you guys want to check out uh, his group's website, you can do so at kcsword.com. Anybody in the Kansas City area, um, really great group of guys. And uh, twice a week, sometimes on Saturdays, so they'll get together and uh, learn the German martial art, you know, yeah. the medieval martial arts. So, uh, definitely check them out. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, comment below what you think. And uh, we'll, guys, we'll see you guys next video. Take care.